Welcome back to LGBT Snapshots. I am your host, Chad. It is Wizard of Oz week, and today is Gay Day. Gregory Maguire was born in 1954 and grew up in Albany, New York, one of seven children. After being schooled in Catholic institutions, Maguire went on to achieve an impressive collection of college degrees, a bachelor's in art and English, a master's in children's literature, and a PhD in English and American literature, with a doctoral thesis on English, on English language fantasy written for children between 1938 and 1988. For decades, he has made children's literature his greatest passion, teaching about it in universities, forming foundations dedicated to it, and serving on the boards of several institutions devoted to it. A practicing Roman Catholic who has lived overseas at times, Maguire met his husband Andy Newman, a successful painter, in 1997, and they married in 2004 just after gay marriage passed in their state. In 1999, they adopted their first child internationally, and they now have three, Luke and Alex, originally from Cambodia, and Helen, originally from Guatemala. The family has been featured in magazine articles, and they have been showcased on Oprah. Knowing they wanted children from when they first met, both men worked from home full-time to raise the kids. Maguire has worked steadily as an author for decades, publishing many children's books. He's most famous for his adult versions of many children's stories, adding angst, drama, and multiple levels into magical worlds of classic tales. Most famous for his Wicked series, which explores the Land of Oz, Maguire has also written Confessions of an Ugly Stepsister, based on Cinderella, Mirror Mirror, based on Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, Lost, based on The Christmas Carol, and most recently, After Alice, based on Alice in Wonderland. Wicked, of course, went on to become a successful Broadway musical, which is still touring internationally. Thank you for tuning in today. I hope you learned something. Please like, subscribe, share with your friends, and we will see you back here tomorrow for Bisexual Day when we discuss Billy Burke, the actress who played the original Glinda the Good.